Hey guys, welcome back to another video of this series where we are creating this four stack authentication system using React Native and Node.js. Now we are so close to completing this project, but before wrapping up this project, I want to fix some user experiences in this app. Now currently if I try to sign up and let's assume our server is slow and to replicate that here I'm using the set timeout method inside the sign up method and I'm using this five second time. Now if I try to sign up, then you can see it will take longer time, but at this time I want to show some loading indicator. And also if I try to upload this image, this profile image, let me upload this one. And this image is almost two and a half megabytes. So let me crop this first. And if I upload this image, now you can see this image is uploading, but at this time I want to source users some upload indicator. So now let's see how we can do that. First, I'll remove the set timeout method from inside the sign up method. Let's save this file. Now I'm going to create brand new file called app loader. Inside this app loader component, we will use our Lodi animation to display our loading animation. For that, you can simply go to this lodifiles.com and from the search bar, you can search for like, let's search for this loader or loading. Now here you will find lots of animated files and from this lodifiles.com you can download these files. Now the one which we are going to use in this video is this one. From here you can simply click on this download and you can click on this lodigation. Now if you try to download this it will ask for the account and account creation is free so you can create account okay. Now after that you can download this lodigation and after downloading it just rename that file and paste it inside your assets folder. As you can see here inside this downloads folder, I have this loading JSON file. So I'm going to drag this and drop it inside this assets folder. Now let's close this file. And here inside this app loader, I'll create this functional component. And inside this view, we are going to render our Lodi animation. Now to fetch and render this Lodi animation inside our app, we need to have this Lodi React Native. And you can simply install it with this command. Okay. Now I already have installed this. So what I will do, I'll import this Lottie view from this Lottie React Native. Now inside this view, I can use this Lottie view. And here first we need to pass the source. Let's use this require and we need to go to folder up assets slash loading dot JSON. Now with this source, we can add another prop called autoplay to play this automatically. And after that, we can also add this loop to play this in loop. Now let me format this code and let's hide this explorer tab. Now I want to display this Lottie view at the center of this view. So for that here, I'll add some style to this view. For that, let's add this multiple style here. I'll use this style sheet dot absolute field object. Now this will make its position absolute top left right bottom zero and it will fill the entire screen. Now inside this container, I'll add this justify content to center and align items center to render this Lottie view at the center of this view component. Also, I'll add this background color and I will use this RGBA color here. Let's use 0, 0, 0 for black and I'll use this 0 0.3 for alpha. And now we want to render this app loader at the top of our every component. So for that here, I'll also use this jade index to one. Now we can save this file and let's come to our app form because inside this app form, we are rendering our both of these forms, login form and this sign up form. Now after this view, I'll Render this app loader. Now here you can see these red lines. Now let's quickly wrap everything inside this empty fragment. Now if I save this file, you can see this is how it looks, but we don't want this. We want to display this loading animation only while we're logging in or signing up. Only in between the time while we're getting response back from our backend server. For that here, what I will do, I'll go to this context 
Here you can see we have this login provider. Now here I'll create another state and I'll call it login pending. Now as you guys can guess, the value will be false, the initial value. Now here we can export these login pending and the set login pending. Now if I save this file and if I come to this app.js, let's hide this explorer tab. Here now I can use this use login hook and I'll get all these values inside this app form. Now let's here use that use login and from here let's destructure those values. Now here we only want to use this login pending. Now according to this login pending we are going to render our app loader. Now here if this login pending then render this otherwise we'll render null. Now if I save this file, you can see that loader is gone. Now I can go to this sign up form and here at the top I'll use that use login hook and here we'll destructure set login pending. Now we can come down and while we're signing up, I'm going to use the set login pending method and I'll change its value to true. And let's copy this method. And after successfully signing up, I'll use the same method and I'll change its value to false. Now let's save this file and let's try this out. Now if I sign up, then you can see this loading animation. And after some time, you will see this upload profile image. Now inside this upload profile image, what I want to do, I want to display that upload progress. But before that, let's come inside our login form and let's use that same method here as well. Now here we have the submit form method. Now at the top, I'll use that use login hook. And from here, let's import the set login painting. Let's copy this method and after submitting this form, I'll change this to true and and after successfully logging in I'll change its value to false okay let's save this file and that is for this login form now here I'll create another component called upload progress okay let's hide this explorer tab and here I'll create this functional component and I'll go to this app loader and I'll copy everything from this style sheet to this view and I'll paste it here. Now inside this view we'll render our upload progress. Also you can create different component with this view with the same style and you can use this inside this upload progress and this app loader as well. But here I'll go with this. Let's remove this Lottie view and instead of this here let me show you what we will do. We'll render this react native progress and you can install this with this command. Okay, you can come to this npm package and we can use this react native progress to render different kind of progress animation. So now let's see how we can render our upload progress. For that I'll import everything as progress from react native progress. Now we can render this progress inside our view and we'll render this progress dot a bar. Now to render this progress bar, first we need to pass this progress which we will get as the prop of this component. And also I'll add this width of 200. Now let's save this file and let's come inside this image upload. Now inside this component you can see we already have this progress state, right? Now what I will do, I'll come down and inside here you can see we have this upload profile image method. Now inside here we are uploading our profile image and here we are using this Axios. Now after this headers what we can do we can add another property called on upload progress and this will be this function 
and inside this function you will get uh, the object now let's restructure this object and inside this object you will have this loaded and total and now because we already have this set progress method so we can use it here and here if we divide this loaded by this total then we will get our upload progress now we can use this progress for that what i will do i'll quickly wrap this entire thing inside this react fragment and here we can use our upload progress component and here we need to pass this progress and this progress will be our progress state but we want to render this upload progress component only if we have this progress okay so for that i'll wrap this inside this curly brace and here we will use this progress if there is progress then we'll render this otherwise we'll render null now let's save this file and let's refresh our app and let me sign up with brand new account now let's sign up and let's upload our profile image as well now if i upload this image you will see this upload progress and after some time we are inside our home screen also let's one more time let's check our login page as well now if i log in then you will see this animation here as well now guys this is how you can display this upload progress or this app loader i hope you like this video and learn something new if this is the case then don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video